Hi, I'm Vic Casebolt with TKM Avionics here introducing um, our new KX155 slide and replacement uh, finally after three years in development. Uh, TKM has, a, has an existing line of, of five uh, slide in replacement for legacy avionics and uh, we're here to add an, another uh, cane replacement to our, to our line here. Uh, we've got about 40,000 of these slide in replacements here in the field and uh, we're excited to finally get a, a replacement out there for the KX155 that we, we know you guys all need so bad. 30 years ago we came out with our first slide in replacement which was actually a, a cane replacement as well for the KX170 series. Uh, from there we went to design uh, two more Cessna slide in replacements and uh, a couple of Narco replacements as well. We've got 40,000 of these of these trade in or these slide in replacements in the in the field, and uh, we're excited to add, add another one here. All right, so this is a uh, a lot more modern technology than our than our current current line of products, as well as uh, the KX155 that it, that it replaces. Um, it's got a touch screen involved uh, with some touch points on the screen, and it's a, a software defined radio that uh, really lets us do a number of things that, that weren't possible with the, with the previous technology. And uh, it gives us a very consistent uh, audio quality that we think you all will be uh, very impressed with. Okay. All right, we're gonna show you guys how easy it is to, to operate the MX-155. We'll start with showing you how to, how to dial in a channel. The first step is just to use the touch screen and touch the standby frequency. You're now ready to, to edit a COM, a COM frequency. You use this knob. Select a number, one click, switches you over to the, the rest of the number here, and then you're ready to go and flip flop. The comm channel is now active, and using the comm is or using the nav is, is the same. You hit the nav standby, dial in the, the select the chosen frequency, click to get it over, and then flip flop. If you want to get your nav station identifier, you use this VCID button. If you got your, your desired VOR station, click VCID, and now you're listening to the Morse code on that, on that VOR station. This page button gets you into the menu. In here we've got adjustments like brightness level, uh, squelch adjustment, and then uh, the memory. Memory's got 20 slots. They also allow you to, to assign a, a channel code. This top button, top knob, is always going to be your volume. It gives you a little vo visual bar graph of, of the volume level. Holding the page button for two seconds will bring you home. All right, we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to, to install the MX-155. You use just a Phillips screwdriver to unlock the lockdown and pull out. This will be your KX-155. You'll see the rear panel here. It is the exact same as the KX-155, exact same pinouts, so it really is as easy as sliding it in, and you're on your way. We'll slide it into the, the KX-155 tray, same tray as used. You'll see a power up there. Then you'll use your screwdriver to lock it into the tray.